A hidden gem in Green Bay discovered by accident. Imagine tearing down a building and then finding a huge Coca-Cola sign hidden underneath. That was the reality for one local business owner. Jim Meyer is the owner of Meyer Jewelers. His father started the business in 1950 and Jim eventually took it over in the 70s. Meyer Jewelers started in Jim's living room. The store was in the front of the house and his family lived in the back. The house the family lived in has been torn down, but it's where the parking lot is today. Meyer sells all types of jewelry from engagement rings to necklaces and more. Jim and his staff have been operating out of two buildings for years. Although they've been working out of their current building for 15 years, they decided to completely move in just a few months ago. The store closed down in March due to the coronavirus pandemic. A few months went by and Jim decided to tear down the old building in June. He was shocked to see the Coca-Cola mural on the side of his store. I was surprised. So then when we tore down the building, we noticed, oh my God, it's Coca-Cola sign. <laughs> What's this doing here? It's pretty faded, but you can still make out the words delicious and refreshing on the mural. It dates back to the 70s when it was on the side of a grocery store, Blasey's Supermarket. Dennis Jacobs is the local history and genealogy library associate at Brown County Library's central location. He says the building Meyer Jewelers is currently in was built in the 1940s in the Astor Park neighborhood. Al Blasey owned the store, which was pretty popular. The grocery stores in that time period are just like neighborhood markets. Mm -hmm. So you didn't have the big chains like we do today. He does have a number of ads um, in the paper and he seems like a pretty popular place. After Meyer's old building was torn down, customers made quite a few comments about the mural. When we did it, right away somebody put, posted something on Facebook. We saw it and I thought, well, how did everybody even know it was gone? <laughs> the strange reason is I was kind of tearing it down so I could get a nice big billboard on the side of the building because nobody seems to notice us here. You haven't seen it. You should stop by soon before you miss it. I'm planning on replacing it with a, I'm having a new sign designed. Although he says it won't be quite as big as the Coca-Cola mural, but it'll still be a good size. In Green Bay, Natasha Arrow, Local 5 Digital.